Hello everyone. Hope you all must be doing well. This is Girish Kothani and I am up here with my new video of class 8 which was demanded by the viewers in the comment. So, today we are here to discuss about NCERT class 8 geography chapter 1 that is resources. So, before we start discussing about the chapter, let's look around ourselves. What do you see? We see water, electricity, mobile phone, etc. Can you tell me what is the similarity in all these things? Yes, these all have some kind of uses. In other words, we can say these all have some kind of utility. That's why these all things are resources. Anything that has utility and value is called as a resource. And anything that has utility will surely have some or the other value do you know what does the value means value means worth everything that has some utility will surely have some kind of worth let me tell you something that is not given in the ncert book there are four types of values legal value economic value aesthetic value and ethical value legal value is related to the quality of commodity whereas the economic value is uh, actually attributed to the use of the product whereas when we talk about the aesthetic value it is related to the natural scenic beauty and the ethical value is related to the moral behavior value code of conduct etc so thus we can say it's not necessary that all the things that has a kind of use will have the economic value or in other words we can say all the things that are resources that is not necessary that they will have the economic value only it they may have some different values for example when we test the feet of our parents guardians it's not just because of the diwali gifts it's because of our moral values that we have learned over the period of time at the same place uh, when we think of another example like when we go to shimla kullu manali or some other places let's take park itself so why do we go to such places because this places provide us some kind of calmness they are not providing us with the economic value but they are providing us some kind of calmness that has some kind of value which is an aesthetic value let me give you one more example uh, like the your grandma's home remedies the grandma's home remedies might not be having a kind of uh, economic value but they are very useful and if a medical company further with the passage of time and technology they develops a kind of medicine by using a kind of patent and uh, sells it up so it will surely earn some money so that the grandma's home remedies will have some kind of economic value as well so here we talked about the word patent do you know what does the word patent means the word patent means the having the exclusive right over any idea or an invention okay i also talked about the passage of time and technology when this pharmaceutical companies are developing the home remedies into a medicine so when we talk about this we can say time and technology are two important factors that can change anything into a resource both because both are related to the needs of the common people it is their ideas invention knowledge and discoveries that lead to the creation of many other resources each discovery or invention leads to many different more resources in the future okay now let's talk about the types of resources when we talk about the types of resources there are three types of resources natural human made and human first let's talk about the natural resources so these are derived by from the nature and these are used without much modification for example the land air water soil these all are natural resources when we talk about the human made resources these are the resources which are actually derived from the nature and we use it after modification okay for example the parks buildings machines this we are making from the natural resources and 
we modify and make this parts buildings and machineries okay let's talk about the most important resource that is the human resource human are also known as a resource because it is the human being and their skills and technologies that makes themselves into a resource because human can turn anything into a resource by utilizing their skills technologies and their abilities to do work okay when we talk about the natural resource they are further classified on the basis of uh, development and use this natural resource is divided into two that is actual resource and potential resource actual resources are all those resources which have a fixed quantity whose quantity and quality is known whereas the potential resources are all those resources whose quality or quantity may not be known for example the windmill windmill in earlier days were a potential resource but nowadays we are utilizing it so it's an actual resource okay the natural resources are further divided on the basis of uh, origin on the basis of origin the natural resources are divided into two that is biotic and abiotic biotic consists of living organisms whereas abiotic consists of non living organisms now the third category of natural resource is on the basis of exhaustibility so on the basis of exhaustibility the natural resources are divided into two that is renewable and non renewable resource when we talk about the renewable resource this gets replenished easily quickly it takes less time to renew themselves they are non exhaustible whereas when we talk about the non renewable resource they are exhaustible in nature because they cannot renew themselves or they may take longer times let's say thousands of years to renew themselves now on the basis of distribution the natural resources is divided into again two that is ubiquitous and localized ubiquitous resources are all those resources which are available everywhere whereas localized resources are all those resources which are specific to a space to a place for example uh let's say mineral resource mineral resources are specific to a place minerals are not available everywhere whereas air water it is almost available everywhere so air and water is ubiquitous resource whereas the mineral resource is a localized resource after discussing about the types of natural resource it's turn to discuss about the resource conservation so because resources are very important to us so the question arises how to save those resources so while we talk about the saving of resources there are two theories that talks about it first is resource conservation and the second is sustainable development when we talk about the resource conservation it talks about two things first that is using the resources carefully second it talks about giving them time to get renewed okay so this is how we can conserve the resources whereas the second theory that talks about the sustainable development theory says that balancing the need of today fulfill the need of today and second thing it says is conserve them for future also utilize the things today and conserve them for future as well that is what sustainable development theory says now let's talk about how can we do all those things so if, as we all know the future of our planet is in our hands so it's our duty to ensure that all uses of renewable resources are sustainable second that is diversity of life on the earth is conserved third the damage to natural environmental system is minimized so this is how we finish class 8 geography chapter 1 that is resources hope you must have liked the my video and before i leave i would like to give you one verb please comment the five principles of sustainable development i will personally check it and like it if you found this video instructive and fruitful do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon next to it so that 
you get notified every time I make a new video. Do like, share and comment. Thank you and Jai.